Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I do it for the fam. Trying to put food on my table going ham. PYT says she knows who I am. Hey guys, what is going on? This is Mike or Geekerman bringing you another Destiny video. Today we are going to be looking at all the new exotics that are going to be dropping in Rise of Iron. Now, before I go any further, it is worth noting that really only two of these, I think two, are actually new. The rest of these were actually supposed to be released with the Taken King, and then as we all know, the game came out, we never saw them, then suddenly they disappeared from the armory. But that whole story is for a different day. Needless to say, we are finally getting a whole bunch of new exotics, including a pair of boots for the Warlock. This might be the best day ever. Let's go through them. First, we have the Kostov, which I made a video on. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you do, because I think that this gun is going to be amazing. You get to set the gun up however you want. You could set it to full auto, you can set it to semi-auto, burst fire, change the rate of fire. It's gonna be crazy to see what builds people come up with for this gun. And I'm sure there's gonna be one that rises to the top pretty quickly. Up next we have Ophidian Aspect, and these are some gauntlets for the Warlock that improve your energy drain, which makes your grenades come back even quicker, and weapons ready and reload very quickly. Now this will be interesting to see how quickly, because this could be an amazing pair of gauntlets to wear with the artifact that gives you double grenade, double melee. I'm just thinking now about how impressive that build is going to be. Ooh, alright, we'll have to do another video for that. Up next we have Shinobu's Vow, and these are gauntlets for the hunter that improve your skip grenade and give you an additional skip grenade. Now, I personally feel that the skip grenades are already amazing at tracking. I'll be running on the other side of the map trying to get away from them. So if this improves the skip grenade charge, these could be some pretty good gauntlets to have during Rise of Iron. I guess we'll see. Up next we have the Thagomizers, which grants Amplify for your melee and gives you a double melee charge. Now this isn't going to be anything crazy, I don't think, but you can really just load up with your Striker Titan, go crazy with your melees, and earn your super even quicker. Up next we have the good old Thorn. Thorn is back. I've already made a video on that, so make sure you click the link and check out that video. I will put that in the description. Up next is a helmet for the Warlock called the Astrocyte Verse. Now this looks like it gives you a temporary increase to recovery on Blink. I think we'll have to wait and see exactly how these work. Right now I'm really not sure does it heal you right away? Do you recover faster? I don't know what this helmet is going to do, but I'm really excited to see it, and it looks just beautiful. Next we have the Dune Marchers, and they increase the sprint speed for the Titan, and you move faster with your aimed weapon, almost like Radiant Dance Machines, and they also give you tighter sprinting turn radius. So this will essentially make your Titan as mobile and as agile as some of the Hunters. So these may not be overpowered per se, but I would watch out, these could be deadly. Up next we have the Frost EE5, and these give you tighter turn radius, but the important part is you get a faster grenade and melee regen while you're sprinting. So if you're the type of player that likes to run and gun and is all over the place, these boots are going to reward you by giving you an even quicker grenade and melee charge. Not sure where the strength is yet, whether it's PvP or PvE, I guess we're going to have to wait and see on that, but regardless, these are going to be some pretty exciting boots. Up next we have the first ever pair of boots for the Warlock. I am so excited. I main a Warlock, I play all three pretty consistently, I've got days worth of playing time on all three, but the Warlock, I've always wanted a pair of boots. and so. These originally increased the distance of Blink when they were going to release it in the Taken King, and they changed it for Rise of Iron, and now you get faster movement speed while you're crouched, and the ammo pickups automatically take the ammo and put it into your guns. Now, I see this being more helpful in PvE than PvP, because a lot of times in PvP, if you're over getting the special ammo, you're not usually in too much of a hurry to reload. But I don't know, we'll have to see how it plays out. Next we have the Nemesis Star. So this gun starts with a super high rate of fire, and then as you fire the gun, it decreases the rate of fire and it increases your range and your accuracy. 
I don't know if the time to kill is going to be quicker than other heavy machine guns like the Thunderlord. It'll be really cool to see how this gun is used, and with a magazine size like 53, it's going to be pretty fun to just mow people down with this thing. Up next, you all know it, we love it, we're happy it's back, the Gallerhorn. I think we should just have a moment of silence here to appreciate the fact that Destiny has decided to bring this back for us. I am pumped. I think it's going to be good. I think they might actually even buff it back to the original strength that it had in year one, but we'll have to see. Regardless, super excited, super amazing gun. Cannot wait. And last but not least, this gun is already out. I still haven't gotten it, but I'm working as hard as I can to burn through three of coins to try to get this gun so I can do a review for you guys. But if you don't know, the Trespasser is an extremely powerful sidearm, and after you reload when you kill somebody, the gun becomes even stronger and allows you to mow down opponents for double or triple kills. Very cool. That's pretty much it, guys. These are all the new exotics that are coming in Rise of Iron. Let me know in the comment section which one you are most excited about, and if you did enjoy the video, please leave me a like. It really helps me grow this channel, and if you want to see more videos like this, and you want to join the Geek Squad, make sure and hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, I will see you in the next Destiny video. Peace.